What's up guys, and welcome back to our Hulkamania series in WCW in TW 2016. We're gonna jump straight into our first show, show since Bash of the Beach. So we'll open of course with a Hulk Hogan promo, because you know, that's the way we do things around these parts. Comes out with his new WCW world title, and he comes out and he's like, look brawler, I don't know why the warrior was at Bash of the Beach, wow. You should have bought that pay-per-view. Oh, you dumb idiot so much. Just watch the TV show. But uh, I'll tell you one thing, dude. Like, he better not come for me in my new title. But thanks for helping me win said title. I'm Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and then we get our inaugural contest. And I'm about to have superb wrestling. A great heat. Vader defeats Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Getting an AEB. Then after the match, Vader continues to attack Ricky Steamboat, but who makes the save? Oh my god, it's the British Bulldog debuting in WCW, oh my word, getting a 98 star in this segment, holy crap. That's not an A star, it's just an A. I'm just, I was very happy, because he is a star, A. Hey. <laughs> You're welcome. Next segment, a decent match, Lord Steven Regal straight out of Blackpool, defeated Brad Armstrong. 11-18, with a regal stretch, making defence number 5 of his WCW television title. Got a 74. Colonel Robert Parker hopes at the fact that next week on Saturday night we'll get to see Terry Funk against Dustin Rhodes. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> and then we have a ba another backstage promo with Harlem Heat, where they are like, we're the best tag team in WCW history, we're the best. It's all Harlem Heat. We're the best brothers. And then, out of nowhere, here come two brothers, Rick and Scott. They're always really good, and one of them's kind of hot. I don't know, I can't mind the lyrics of that song. <laughs> of course, I Rick is the hot one, clearly. The wrestling headgear. Ladies love it. Uh, but yeah, Rick and Scott show up. They're like, oi. Best brothers fight us. And all of them is like, oh, and then they kind of back away. But the Steiners are back in WCW. Yay! There's a 73 B minus. And then they have a decent match. The Guardian Angel defeats DDP in 1917 by pinfall with a Bubba Slam. I think you mean with a. The Guardian Angel. Registered trademark slam. <laughs> it's a 64. Steve Austin is walking backstage with his WCW United States title. They retained against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat backstage. Yeah, and he bumps in a sting. Sting's like, hey, you're a jerk, Steve Austin. You're not a real United States champion. And Austin's like, because apparently he's got, <laughs> he's apparently he's very jolly. And, uh, they start arguing, and Sting's like, Alright, Austin, if you're so great, why don't you defend that uh, United States Championship next week against me? And Austin, all cut up, cut up in the moment, goes, Yeah! So that means next week, guys, we're going to get to see it. Steve Austin versus uh, Sting for the US title, which I think is a pretty damn good match. I guess I'd like you for the A. Yep. Cactus Jack cuts a promo and he's like, I have no idea what's going on with Kevin Sullivan. He's just disappeared. He heard the mysterious booming voice of mystery and just ran off and I've not seen him since. And he wants he wants answers from Sullivan. Then a decent match, Arn Anderson defeats Alex Wright. 1104 by Pinfall. Not much to talk about here. Nice. Then, holy crap, an amazing promo. I <laughs> would have seen that coming. Ric Flair cuts a promo on his match with Hulk Hogan, getting a 99A star. He's not good with sensuous ser Sherry, so we might move her on to someone else. I know, I read that, Rick. And then, in our main event, in a decent match, Brawler Brudai defeats Ron Simmons in 8 by pinball. 
getting a 70 C+. There you go, Brutai's in-ring debut. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> Pay no attention to the to the what you read on screen. And then in a freestyle segment, well, that's just every segment really, Brutai is celebrating after the match. He's doing his, you know, legally distinct scissors dance. You know, it's completely different to like the the barber dance that he used to do his uh, Brutus Beefcake. Completely different. And then, oh my god, Ric Flair and Sid Vicious and Arn Anderson all come down to the ring and they're all beating the crap out of him. And they're beating the crap out of him completely. And then who runs in and makes the save? Hulk Hogan. He chases away the three of them. He's got a chair, probably. He's swinging the chair around. He's like, ah. And they all run away. And Hogan throws down the chair and he grandstands and he hot dogs for goddamn ten minutes. And that's how we close the show. Like it's a 91A. What's our rating for this show? 82B. Popularity up in 39 regions. You're goddamn right. This terrifying experiment is working. Hogan is definitely worth the millions of dollars we're paying him. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Oh, I don't know. This isn't the end of the episode. Shut up, me. We still have another part. So we'll be right back with your WCW main event. What's up guys and welcome back. We're our WCW main event. Everyone's favourite B show, so we're gonna quickly run for this. Not much going on here yet at the moment. We've got Jim Duggan. Cuts a backstage promo, does his typical ho oh, like tough guy, does the thumbs up pose, waves about his two by four, just spouts stuff about loving America and that, you know, Duggan stuff. And he then has a match where he beats Jean Paul Levesque. In 1319, by pinfall with a running clothesline tackle, gets a 63C, not bad. Dustin Rhodes got a promo on a on his upcoming match, but he talks about Colonel Robert Parker and how much he hates the Sud Sable and how he can't wait to kick their uh, rooty tooty booties. Um, <laughs> the rooty tooty booties. Put that on a shirt. Um, uh, when he gets his hands on them next, even for. He would have won if it wasn't for that Arn Anderson. Oh. Uh, border bash of the beach here. Um, on demand. Uh, pay per view, as it's actually called. Or watch it on this YouTube channel. Hey, plug my own series. Uh, terrible match. Alex Wright defeats the Gambler in 719. By pinfall of the Hangman's Neckbreaker. That's a funny way to spell in the best match. The Nasty Boys cut a promo, being all like, we're nasty, we're the champs, we're gross, bleh. you know, typical nasty things. And in a decent match, Brian Nobbs defeats the Patriot in 1309 by pinfall. During the match, Jerry Sags ran in and attacked the Patriot. What's he like? In our closing segment, Lord Stephen Regal does like a generic British promo where he's all like, hmm, tea and, you know, He's drinking tea while polishing his, well, no, while his servant, well, well Sir William, that was it. Sir William, he's he's in the background polishing the WCW Television Championship. He's all like, mm, oh, yes, a real gentleman, all that, you know, kerfuffle. I guess a 68C plus for our B show. So, I'll do it for this episode. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm loving the series so far. I have a lot of plans for it. I've got like, I kind of have most of like my main stuff on pay-per-views planned up to Stark 8, which is December. We're in July. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Uh, I hope you are too. If you are, you can leave a like. Oh, that was smooth. Oh, I've still got it. Don't know what it is, but I've still got it. Um, but see the other stuff I do, you can hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.